Hey guys, Art here. Today is my 10th money making guide. Today I will be showing free to play players 10 more ways in order to make money. I just like to say though that this is my 10th money making guide and I have officially shown 50 ways to make money for free to play players and members. That's a total of 50, not 50 for each, but I will keep going. So, let's get started. So here we are in Lumbridge, I'll show you on the map. We are in Lumbridge, just north of the Lodestone. Go north and right here in the sheep field. So we're gonna shear sheep for our first method. Each wool from the sheared sheep is worth 149. Full inventory would be 4k, so you can make 4k a load off a of shearing sheep, and the only thing required for it is shears in your tool belt. Also, you'll notice that this sheep right here, you see how it has penguins under it? You can tell it's different, but that was used in a penguin quest in members, so ignore that. If you have a familiar, then bring that to store stuff, and I'll see you at the next method. So here's our second method. Once again, we are in Lumbridge and just south of the sheep field. From the lodestone, run north, and we are in the fishing shop. For this method, you will need some money. Not too much though. All you have to do is trade Hank and buy all the feathers. You buy them for 6 GP each, and they are worth 16 each. This also works at various locations. You can also get feathers here in Port Sarum from the fishing shop guy right here. In Members Worlds, you can get them from the fishing guild. And various other fishing places, which I can't all remember right now, but those are three locations. So According to Potato Potatoes 1337, this was his method, so thumbs up to him for giving the first mentioned method. I did know of this, I will mention I didn't know of this method, but I forgot all about it because I went to members, I forgot to do feathers every day. So thanks Potatoes. And uh, I'm gonna give you the same short story I gave to him. What I used to do every day was this was before runes were nerfed um every day i would um go from and this wasn't free to play i would use my cabbage port teleport run here go to the mate go to the magic shop i would buy the water and earth runes they would sell for a lot back then and then i would run i would also buy the blue hats and black hats here mage hats and i run over here buy the feathers and then I would teleport to Lombridge, collect my free daily food hamper. And then after that, I would teleport to Farak, and then I would run southeast. I'll go to the raid shop, the archery shop first, claim the stuff, the 30 arrows, the bows. I would alk the bows, and I'd run over here to the mage shop, claim the mind and air runes, and then I would buy all the water and um, earth runes. Oh, I also forgot death runes. I also bought all the death runes. And then finally I teleported back to Barak and ran to Grand Exchange and sold it all. Yes, I know that was a very long story, but that's what I used to do and I would make over 40k to 50k a day in free to play worlds in about a minute and a half worth of time. So that was great back then. But now uh, it's just feathers, so... Oh wait, I also forgot to mention them. Um, when I went to get the daily food hamper, I'd run over to this fishing shop and I'd buy the feathers. That's what I'd do. But anyways, I'll see you at the next method. So here we are in Rock for our third method. What you want to do for this method is trade the shopkeeper. He doesn't have too much that's worth anything, but the tinder boxes are great. They're only 1 GP each, and I believe they are 98. 
Yeah, there are still 98 GP. So you just made about 1k from that. And then if you trade Thessalia, I'm terrible at pronunciation, but if you trade Thessalia or Thessalia and you buy leather boots, leather gloves, and if you buy Preps Priest Gown, I don't know that for sure, so don't quote me on that. But if you buy that, then each other boot is worth 203 each. So you just made add some profit. Um, now what you can do for this method, you know, you just selling materials like tinder boxes and clothing. There are other places where you can buy tinder boxes too. Here in Lumbridge at the general store. Here in Remington, you can use the Clan Vexum teleport and just teleport to anywhere else as a bank. Here in Falador, you have the general store. Just any general store, even here in Edgeville, any general store works. You can just sell the tinder boxes to GE and make some profit. Now, I will mention that in Members Worlds, there is a, there is, um, the Fire Making Master. I can't remember precisely where he is. Um, I don't have a perfect memory of where he is. Uh, give me one second and I'll find out. Okay, I did find him. Uh, you see this little area right here? It's just south of Sirius Village. I knew it was somewhere around here. But uh, this little patch right here, the Fire Making Master will be right there. And he sells, it's either 1,000 or 500 tinder boxes. And they are fairly cheap. I'll also find out how many he sells. Well, he has 60,000 tinder boxes for sale, and they're all for one GP each. So that's a really, really good way of making money. So I'll see you at the next method. So here we are in Brock with our fourth method. What you'll need to do for this method is go down this dungeon, and then you'll want to run. As soon as you get it here, you'll end up right here. You want to run through this path. Go north, east, around here. And you'll go down. You'll get stuck by a web right here. So just go south and west. Don't go up the ladder here, just go there. And there's a web right here. You don't need any strength requirements. It's just an annoying web. You can run west. And right here, there are red spider eggs. I'll begin recording when I get there. So here we are in the rock sewer. They're right next to the bloody red spiders. Um, do note that if you are not a certain combat level, the bloody red spiders will attack you. And they will cause a lot of damage. So if you're a lower level player, I recommend putting on some armor. Or trying to go around the water spots to avoid them. Each red spider egg is 596, and they have a two spawn location right here and right here. So I'll see you at the final money making method. So here we are in Lumbridge with our final method cutting trees. Yes. The old fashioned trees. Each log is worth 101 each. This could possibly be faster than use, depending on how fast you are. And what I mean is, this could be faster than new trees, depending on how crowded the world is and how many news you're actually getting. Because I know there's tons of bots and they don't go for regular trees because they're too busy chopping all the use down. On member worlds, it's not too bad, but on, I know on free-to-play worlds, it's pretty bad. The higher wood cutting level, the better, and the better hatchet you have on you, the better. But, um, each log is worth 101, as shown, and a full inventory of them is worth 2,828. So that's not bad. I personally would not prefer it as a main method. I only would recommend it if you're a lower level. But other than that, I'll see you, I'll see you at the G.
Oh, I also forgot to mention, um, cutting trees, you can just be about anywhere and do it, I mean. I'm here in Mumbridge, you know, there's a bunch of trees to the west. You can just cut those, run up here, and then go to the bank, which is just right here. Um, it, it works at Draenor, you got several different locations for it. But other than that, I'll see you at the G. Well, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Please give it a thumbs up. Like it, rate, subscribe, all that good stuff. Um, I really do put a lot of time in my videos. I mean, I've officially shown 50 methods now before free to players and members combined. I will continue to make guides. And if anyone has suggestions for making money, please leave them in the comments below and I will put them in the video so I will be making in the future. So, now that I've reached 50, um, money making methods, I'll be sharing with you what my next plans are. My next plans are that if anyone has an idea for making money, put it in the comment below and also if you have any videos over killing monsters um, for, mon for making money that go into better detail than what I would be showing in my regular guides, then Give me a video response or just leave me a message saying check out my video you know give me a link on that you know I'm obviously not gonna see anything that's on some random site I will only check if it's YouTube and you know if I like the video I will definitely post it but not just that but I will show my own method of doing it and then I'll give a more detailed version of it saying that it was your idea for the method and I will leave a link in the description below showing that they can find more information about it on your channel and it going into further detail than my own. So I hope you guys enjoyed it and I'll see you later. Peace.